Water falls from the cliffs down below to a rushing stream, a lush green paradise high up in Mount Lebanon. This is Lebanon's Wadi Qadisha, or Holy Valley. For centuries, people fled here to escape religious persecution or to avoid the law. Others came here to flee, sometimes permanently, the madness of modern life. Or civilization in general. Traditionally, this valley, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, was home to hermits from the Maronite Christian Church, seeking solitude in the many caves in this remote corner of Lebanon. Only one hermit remains here. To get to him, we walked for more than an hour along sometimes treacherous paths. But when we finally reached 84-year-old Father Dario Escobar, originally from Medellin, Colombia, he had few words for us, as one might expect from a hermit. He did, however, list all the things he must shun. <laughs> He's been in Lebanon since 1990 and a hermit in Wadi Qadisha for the last 18 years. His isolation, however, is far from complete. My regards are to Trump. On this day, we weren't the only visitors to Father Dario's hermitage. Almost 200 high school seniors trekked here on a field trip. Led by Brother Carlos Mario McEwen, also from Medellin, Colombia, who explains Wadi Qadisha's historical significance. Here, uh, during the persecution of the Ottoman Empire, the Christians were uh, in this part, and many of the patriarchs of the Maronites are here, uh, here. Earthly distractions have whittled down the number of Lebanon's hermits to a mere handful. The candles for the saints and martyrs still burn in these caves, but for how much longer? Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Wadi Qadisha, Lebanon.